Ever struggled with creating your own website? Maybe you have stared at a blank page wondering how to get started. Or worse, spent hours trying to make sense of complex website builders that don't even work as expected. But what if I told you there's a tool that makes website creation simple, fun and dare I say, even enjoyable? Yes, I'm talking about Google Sites. And today, we are going to dive deep into Google Sites, what are the easiest way to build your website without any technical background? Now, if you're creating a personal blog, a school project website, or even a small business page, this video will guide you through everything you need to know. We'll be covering all the basics plus a few hidden gems that will make your website look professional. You don't need to be a web design expert to make something that looks great. So here's a breakdown of what we are going to cover in this video. First, we'll see how to start a new website. We'll get things rolling with the basics. You'll know exactly where to start and what steps to take. Next, using the Insert tab on Google Sites, this is where you'll learn how to add all the cool stuff to your site, which is text, images, videos, and even Google Docs and Google Maps. I'll also show you how to manage pages on Google Sites. We'll dive into how to organize your website pages so it's easy for you to navigate for your visitors. Then we'll see how to use themes with Google Sites, get your site looking beautiful and on brand with pre-made themes. We'll show you how to customize them to your taste. Now, before you hit publish, we'll also see how to preview and share your website. We'll see how it looks different on different devices like phones, tablets, and desktop. So let's get started and I'll walk you through the publishing process and also share some tips on making your site accessible to the world. But hey, before we dive in, I'm got a quick quiz for you. Let's test your knowledge on websites. So what's the first thing you should do when creating a website with Google Sites? Your options are choose a template, pick a domain name, start writing content. Drop your answers in the comments below and I'll reveal the correct one at the end of the video. Also, if you're interested in building a career in digital marketing, then the Professional Certification in Digital Marketing by SP Jean School of Global Management is a great place to begin. This is ranked 7 in APAC by Bloomberg Business Week, SP Jean's 8-month live online program, which will help you master all the key skills like SEO, SEM, social media, mobile marketing, marketing analytics, and e even the latest Gen AI tools. You learn by doing with 20 plus projects, 10 plus case studies, and 35 plus marketing tools used by top professionals. You'll also get access to expert-led masterclasses, sessions by Meta Blueprint trainers, and also the Meta exam voucher. And by the end of this course, you will have a certificate from SP Gene and Simply Learn. And you'll also be fully prepared for a job in digital marketing. So whether you are a beginner or looking to upgrade your skills, this program will give you all the hands-on experience you need to know. So what are you waiting for? Hurry up and enroll now and you can find the course link below. So let's get started with our demo part. So the first step is head over to Google and just type in Google Sites. So here you need to click on the first link. Alright, so you can either start with a blank site or an existing project template. So here I already have an existing website which I created before. So when you just click on this template gallery, we have multiple templates option. You can see for event, help center, project, team and various other templates, whichever suits your needs and your requirements. If it's related to your uh, educational purpose or for graduates, student portfolio, we have family update, personal wedding, holiday party and many more. So for the time being, I'll be just clicking on project and I'll be using this template for creating my website. So I'll be creating a website named as Delicious Delights Bakery. So here you can give your project name. So the name of my website is Delicious Delights Bakery. Okay, so you can also change the font style from here. I've, I'm keeping it PT Sans. So I have multiple options from here. You can select any of the fonts which you like. So I'm going to keep it uh, semi-bold. Yeah, so I think this font looks good. And you can also increase the font size from here. So I'll be keeping it 30 for my main heading. And you can add a one-line description of the project, whatever title of your website is. So I can keep it as freshly baked 
comma always delightful i think this looks good so you have given my main title and also a header to um, emphasize on what is my website related to you can also keep it as uh, let's suppose welcome to delicious delights bakery so this looks more engaging according to me so i'll be keeping it this and you can change the image so right now we are using the template one so from here you can actually upload your image of your uh, store which you have it's if it's a bakery store or an e-commerce store any other website which you are creating i'll be using this image and yeah this is the image and i think this looks good can maybe adjust the title with a bit front or below so i'll be keeping it here add an extra space yeah so now this looks good so the main uh, page the starting page is welcome to delicious delights bakery and i've added an information related to my website name which is freshly baked always delightful and here i have this image of cakes which looks quite uh, interesting then you have the second template we have mission of the project a brief description now we will be doing some changes here we have many options we have this content blocks and the collapsible group table of contents you can also add your image carousel from here you can select up to maybe one or two images and you can keep it there and stand you also have this button feature we'll be adding it later i'll show you how to do that you can also add social links your cloud search youtube channels plus map we'll be doing all that in the demo video now slowly so first let's add this content blocks i'll be using this three uh, carousel thing from here and yes so i'll be describing a bit about my uh, website now before we get started to adding more content let's first add an intro content here describing what our website is and what it offers what type of audiences are targeted so here i already have an intro which i took help from ai tool you can use chat gpt or gemini so i have this uh, intro ready which is our delicious delights we offer a wide range of handcrafted freshly baked goods made up from the finest ingredients from cake to cookies spice to pastries we bring joy to every bite now this is a good description here you can also again change the font style but i think this looks good to me or maybe i can keep it a bit cursive so again i'll be using this particular font and i'll use it medium from here yeah now this i think matches with my name of the title right so i'll be keeping it this and then you can also add a brief more description if you want to keep or else you can just remove this particular section from here so i have removed this section from here and i will be adding So I'll be basically moving this section to here. Yeah. So you can actually um, shift your uh, title wherever you want to. And here you, I'll just add a text. So you can either add a text here, or you can also use this button feature. Let's suppose I have this button option, right? So the button option, the name would be products offered. okay and you can link uh, your website name from here so i have my link copied here i can directly paste it yeah so this is the link to my website and i'll just click on insert so as you can see the button is displayed right here i'll be just expanding this button a bit more so you can see the text visible here so it's named as products offered right i'll just keep it in between so it looks more better and then So when the user clicks on this button they'll be directed to the website also and we also have this product option from here so they can look at this landing page or this website so now we can add different products different cheesecake pastries which we have let's suppose our first uh, product is a classic chocolate cake right so i'll just add an image just click on upload since the image is not here with me So I'll be adding this classic chocolate cake from my store and here you can just name it the name of the cake okay 
and you can also enter the price from here let's suppose if it's um, let's suppose i keep it as 650 rupees i think this is fine so i've entered the price of this cake here also and if i want you can also add some discount options like uh let's suppose get 50% discount we'll add that later first now let's add uh, the second image now my second product would be vanilla cupcakes and if needed you can also add more about this cake the description about this cake now so i'll be adding my second product from here now here i have vanilla cupcakes so i'll just again change this as vanilla cupcakes once i enter the price at rupees let's suppose 250 okay next i have my third product which will be mostly bread bakery item so i'll just upload again again this image the third image which we have is the sold out bread and again we'll just enter it here and we'll change this um name as sardo bread okay we can keep the price at rupees um let's suppose it's 200 okay yeah so as you can see we have a products offered here where we have three products classic chocolate cake vanilla cupcakes sardo bread where you can add more description about it like light fluffy cupcakes topped with creamy vanilla frosting but for the time being i have preferred to keep this um the price of the product because i feel the uh, audience is a more into the price so let's keep it here in this way next you can also add a uh, the youtube link from here let's suppose i add the video of my store so i'll just paste the url of this youtube and i'll just click on insert so here we have it the video of my uh, the store so i'll be keeping it here i'll keep it like this this looks good the size is better okay now we have the video third thing is that we can also add more testimonials option you can also add more options like services and add more content into it now for the time i'll just show you how to add a testimonial option from here let's suppose i want to delete these items so i'll just click on this and press delete so let's suppose i've added a testimonial uh, like this here what our customers say just remove this thing and then you can just add a content from here that is uh, i've added we take pride in delivering top quality products and services to our customers just shift it to here we can accordingly increase or decrease the size of it depending on your content now i'll be just uh, changing this image from here so i'll just click on this image and we have an option to duplicate it or uncrop it or crop this image So I'll just delete it, and again click here, and just select an image, upload. So I'll just keep this image here. This looks better. Now, one best thing about this Google Sites is that it will automatically adjust your image as per as the content, so you don't have to particularly go manually and edit everything from scratch. Now the next thing we'll be adding is uh, maybe making more customized cake. So I'll be adding here as custom cakes, and I'll just change this description. Now again, I'll be just entering one more image from here to make it look more more appealing. Now from here, I will just select my image. So this is my custom cake, and I'll just put it here. I think this is actually collapsing here so we'll just put this particular text box and we'll just shift it down so that it looks a bit better now we have what our customers say custom cakes now before this i can add one more button feature from here which would be a uh, services so that it's clear to my audience that what type of services we order again you can insert your link 
so again we have the services option button so that my uh, audience knows now i think it looks pretty good and talking about more insert option you can also yeah i forgot to add this map option from here which is really important let's suppose your customers are confused about where your landmark is so you can actually add your location from here so that your audience knows exactly where it's situated and it's easy for them to come as well so i've just added this in bangalore hsr layout and i'll be selecting this particular map and i'll click select okay now i think it comes right here but we don't want to put our map section just after our uh, intro right so we'll just keep it down yeah so i'm going to keep it here now this looks better yeah so this is our map section and if you have any questions you can also add your email address from here and that's it now one more important thing you can also add your forms google forms google slide docs more uh, links to this now talking about the pages we have different pages from here let's suppose the second page you can just change this page right so let's see what our second page looks like now this is the history page this is the home section so right now we have already worked on our home section from here and you can change this name as something as about us right or you can also delete it if not needed you can duplicate the page as well so i'll do it later because it's not that important maybe i can just remove this from here because it's not needed so i'll delete it i'm going to keep it short and this team or page also it's not needed so i'll delete it again now we have this faq section which i'll keep it so basically we've got two pages right here and again i told you about the theme section already so again you can change the font style the color because i think this particular color looks great so i'll be just keeping it this yeah we also have this custom option now let's look at the preview option from yours now that our website is almost ready we'll just preview and see how it actually looks like So as you can see, this is our option. We have uh, selected the large screen. You can also view it in the tablet and the mobile phone. Let's suppose I want to see how this website will look on mobile. So it would look something like this. Wait, it's not loaded. Yeah. So it would look something like this. Now from here, this is a drop down section of all the two pages which we have. And from here, it talks about our content, the products offered. We have classic chocolate cake, vanilla cupcakes. This looks pretty good, and we have also our YouTube link from here. You can also add your social uh, links. Then this is the tablet view section from here. Okay, so this is how you can preview your website already, which you have done. Next, what we can do is now that our preview is also ready, we'll just go back and. we will we can also share it with others or you can do is we'll publish it now so you can add the web address of a name so i'm going to keep it as delicious bakery from here and you can have you have this option of who can view your site so i'll just click on it's restricted for now so i'll just click on everyone anyone with the link and i'll just select done so now you can publish your website So you see how easy it is to use your Google Sites. Now with that we have come to the end of our tutorial. If you have any doubts or questions ask them in the comment section below. Our team of experts will reply you as soon as possible. Thank you and keep learning with Simply Learn. Hi there if you like this video subscribe to Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To note up and get certified you can check the description box below.